Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, what, part 178, and it is Merchilago time. Specifically, the uh, LP640, which I purchased for insert money here. I don't even fucking know anymore, but here's me cur. So, uh, let's go race, as I continue to have controller problems, because I'm too stubborn to get a new one, a.k.a. I keep forgetting. So, whoops. Anyways, it is the Murcielago Trophy, limited to the LP640. So we got our European driver lineup, and we're going to be going to the Silverstone Grand Prix Circuit, Magello, Suzuka, Maple Valley, the ooh, Extreme Camino Reverse, Camino Extreme Reverse, I did that backwards, and for the first time in a non-world championship uh, race, we're going to the full Le Mans circuit, except we're doing the old Molson without the chicane, so that'll be interesting. But first, let's go to Silverstone. So are we starting first or last? Looks like we're starting last, considering, you know, there's a car placed in front of me on the, on the grid. So here we go. It's all-wheel drive time. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Ha <laughs> ha, what's a wheel spin? Okay. Things kind of even out when every car gets the all-wheel drive uh, hack start. Oh shit, we're going wide. Very, very wide. I done fucked up. I think I hit a little bit of sticky grass. We are not off to a great start tonight. Going all over the everywhere. Hey, Spears is actually giving me a lane. Thank you, Spears. Your death will be painless. Oh boy. Slight bit of difficulty handling this car. This is kind of a... Very good. I was hoping to avoid that, but no. Okay. Can you, like, accelerate Esposito? Fucking hell. Alright, how much front-end damage is that? 37%, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I am having all kinds of issues here. It was as I was going to say before I destroyed the back of Esposito's car. Uh, yeah, this is a big shift from driving. That f Excuse me, sir. Fuck your dive bombs. You know, this is a big shift from driving the uh, the uh, Ferrari in the last segment. Cause this thing is big and heavy, and it has all-wheel drive. I'm having all kinds of trouble. 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 Getting the hang of this car. I mean, I will eventually, but, you know, for now, not so much. Okay. And I got a few moments to myself. I'm getting the feeling here. Not as much visual damage as I was expected. Then again, that wasn't that big of a hit. It just, you know, gave me a fuck ton of damage. Mechanical damage. Aero damage. Slacking placking. So, here we go. Whoop. Just gonna squeeze on the inside of Weber here. Easy pass on him.
three yellow cars up front here. Top half, very good. Evans is the odd man out and is blue. Oh, uh, that's right, my controller sucks. Almost forgot about that. This is a very bad idea. And that was kind of unintentional late breaking there. No, oh, got around more, so it works. We. This. Oh, okay. Evans is going to give me room. Good. It's always a toss up if they're actually going to like. Uh, give me room on the exit there or not. I'm not using the wheel. My wheel's not compatible with the Xbox 360. Or else I would be using it. If I seen the loud house, I don't know what that is, so no. No idea. Yes, I am on the Xbox 360. I mean, this is a 360 exclusive, so you know. Yeah, now. Anyways, now that I have this car dialed in, guess who's much faster than the AI? The hard AI. A Lamal. This sick guy right here. I was actually expecting to be clear of Rossi, which is why I kind of swung out for that turn didn't quite work. Oh, it's a Nickelodeon cartoon. No wonder I've never heard of it. I don't give a shit. I, I just don't give a shit about modern cartoons. I'm a shitty hipster, I know. It's shitty hips. I don't have anything like else to justify it. It's just I'm dumb. And I don't have time to watch things. Ever. Do I have plan yes I do plan on LPing Forza 5 and 6. I do plan on going through the whole series like I did with GT, but after I finish f this one and Forza 4, I'm going to take a break from the Forza series to do other games. Hopefully shorter games. Because I, I could use a couple short LPs to uh, get my sanity back in check. Oh crap, that's grass. Stay out of the grass. Yeah, also I need to get an Xbox One so I can actually play the last four Forzas. Yeah. It's crazy, the Xbox One's been out for four years. Like, holy shit. This console generation has just felt like it's... It's only been here, like, a couple years, but no, it's, these consoles have been around for four fucking years. It's weird. Probably mostly because I don't have either the Xbox One or PS4 yet. Also, it's really sad that in like the three or however many years the PS4 has been out, there's only one game, one exclusive game that it's already released that I care about. Yeah. 
Well, I know I can get an Xbox One for, you know, 200 bucks. It's just the fact that I don't currently have 200 bucks to spend. So, yeah. Hey, Executioner. Yeah, exactly. It only feels like a couple years because of the games. Just the lack of quality games. Yes, Drive Club is the PS4 game I'm interested in. Yeah, the NX is around the corner, aka the shit or Switch. It's called the Switch. Hey Dale. Oh Schnikes. I'm almost a little surprised I have an only three second lead on Rossi, but then again, it seems as if the car, uh, as the cars increase in pace, the AI increases in skill. The shit, hey, it's not even been released yet. Should get Xbox or PS4? Uh, it depends on what games you're looking for. Check out the exclusive libraries of EH and make your decision on, based on that. Yeah, Drive Code looks fun. I've seen like I've watched streams of, like, Q playing it. And it looks like an enjoyable game. The weather effects look fucking incredible. But, you know, that's aesthetic. I care about gameplay. It also looks very grindy, though. That's, that's one thing that I'm a little skeptical about skeptical about the game is it looks very grindy. I've heard horror stories about the drive atards. It's with a D, because they are retarded. And worse than AI. Like just normal AI. So, yeah. Hey, I won the first race, Ray. Swag. Hey soccer. Okay, five and a half second victory over Rossi. Race one, not bad. Not bad at all. So, onwards to the second round of Lambo Town. Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. This time, not like absolutely fucking destroy my car. That would probably be a good idea. Contr controller. Can you actually fuck off, contr controller? Holy shit. Just holy fucking shit. Oh, okay. Thank you, Evans, for that bump. So yeah, this race is probably not going to be nearly as interesting as the last attempt. Judging by the fact I'm already racing for the lead, and I don't have 10 trillion damage to my front. So I only have 14% instead of 18,000. Just gonna pass Rossi in my dive spot. Get it over with. Or before, uh, okay. 
That works too, I guess. Okay. Moving on. P1 is me. And Rossi has fallen back to fourth. Well, then. It's more than Esposito has passed him. Cool. I guess. Way to go, Rossi. Way to fuck it up. No, no. Yeah, Rossi not on the podium, whoa. I'm honestly not surprised at this point, because Rossi, out of the, like, the three top drivers in each region, he has the most non-podium finishes out of all three. I think by a hefty margin. I think Sasaki has the least amount of non-podium finishes for between him, Davis, and Rossi. So, uh... GG Rossi, GG. Yeah, GG controller. My controller is a piece of shit. At least the wiring is now. <laughs> Alright, two down, four to go. And three and a half second advantage over Moore. I don't know what I was going to use for the GT4 Nurburg 24. Like, if the Lister wasn't chosen, I actually didn't know what car to use. I was very uncertain, and since the Lister became a meme, it just kind of... everything fell into place there. Except the fact that the Lister was OP. Which was very unexpected. I, I just expected the competition to be a uh, higher... I died a little faster than what they were. Let's make the Lister a meme again. You can't force memes. Kind of a K 
casually pulling away from everyone else. Don't mind me. Now with lighting, but Martinsville doesn't have their lights up yet. They're going to do that next year. Kind of just cruising at this point, like that's pretty much why I'm being silent. I don't know what to say. What a fucking shock! Oh boy, we're gonna fall back into this shit again, where like 90% of my commentary is I don't know what to say. Hubba dubba dubba da. I'm good. Let's play, man. Yes, yeah, totally. Uh huh. Absolutely. Paul Heyman promo. I didn't watch Raw, so I don't know anything about the promo. So, yeah, about that. All I know about the Heyman Lesnar promo is that they still try to get heel heat on Lesnar in his hometown because, you know, that's a smart idea. GG Creative, you are fucking geniuses. Two to go. Here at Magello. And Vince was pissed they couldn't make him a heal. I mean, what do you expect? It's like, oh, okay, here's fucking, you know, big guy in his hometown. Let's get the crowd against him. Huh, 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 huh. Wonderful, very thoughtful. Not to play Banjo Kazooie, bro. There's always time for Bear and Bird, unless you're me and have never played it. Yeah, Bear and Bird. You should. Yeah. <laughs> He has not been able to recover. He's right behind Esposito, but he hasn't been able to pass him. He's also got like two other cars right on his ass. So, hooray for Rossi. I guess. I am kind of missing breaking point. Okay, that one was actually a lot better than I expected. Like, I'm just kind of missing my breaking points here, don't mind me.
be. Just a few more corners and Magello will be done. Hooray. Okay, and coming across the line, there we go. Oh hey, 57 for my last lap, nice. Last lap, best lap. Didn't start off too good, but ended great apparently. And gave me a 10.5 second victory over Muller. With Rossi finishing fourth. It's another non-podium for Rossi, GG. Alright, so, two races down, four to go. Okay, time for race number three at Suzuka. Yeah. I don't know, Suzuka is a good track. So, off we go, five laps around here. And that was close. Oh, 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 thank you, Esposito, for no room. Slicing the shit out of my car, motherfucker. Slicing my car like a pizza. I don't know why I thought of that. That was a horrible analogy. Oh, shit. Okay, we are up to fifth, we're going for fourth. Okay, we are not going for fourth because Evans is just like, nah. Suck my dick, you're not getting that lane. Somehow it worked out for me though. So I forced him wide into the hairpin. Very good. Weber in full or uh, third, excuse me. I moved my head and my neck, and it somehow disconnected the controller. What sorcery is this? Balls in my face. This controller is fucking weirding me out, man. Anyways, we're up second here. That just kind of happened. And that planned overtake did not work because I went a little too wide there. GG me. GG. That's just one of those unexpected dives that just kind of... One of those unexpected opportunities that just kind of come. Because I got such a good run heading up to that turn. So... Might as well go for it.
Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Playing some, uh, Russian roulette with the controller now. Alright. Wonderful. I wish I could do stuff for Halloween. I, I still would, you know, do like, basically the most I would be able to do is like crazy Steve face paint. Which is something I want to do. But, heh. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not gonna happen. A, because I don't know how to do face paint, and B, because I don't ha know anybody who could do it, like, for me. And C, because I'm stupid. sliding off the track. That would be bad. Four second lead, heading into 130R, so it's probably like six seconds now. So I'm so much faster than round 130, whoa, 130R, you see. Yes, sir. Yeah, 2.95, nice. Gotta go fast. Hey, look, six seconds. I wasn't wrong. You know, I was slightly exaggerating. A little too early on the brakes. A little too early on the turn in as well. I see the field is split in half here. Got Rousey, Muller, Weber, and it looks like Evans. And then there's the other three, just kind of like a few seconds behind them. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Actually, a larger gap than I thought. Oh, 
Nikes. Thank you, Curb, for saving me. That was a little bit crazy. Okay, last lap around Suzuka. And we're starting it by going way off the line. Nice. Shit. Yep, this is gonna be a very fantastic lap, I can already tell. Okay, well, that battle from 6th on back is very, very tight. They are, all three of them are nose to tail. Oh no, more off-track shenanigans. chicane. Let's make it to the end. There we go. Okay. Race three done. Nope. Oh. oh. Something happened to Esposito. Hmm, I guess that caused the split in the field, because he what? No. Wait, no, no, never mind. It was Weber as never mind, never mind. Esposito was running well last race. This race was Weber. So Rossi Weber, Mueller, Evans, you see them all. So We are halfway through this uh, fucking transition. Okay. Race four. Maple Valley. Oh boy. Perfect start. 10 out of 10. Just going straight up the middle of the field. Surprised that actually went so well. You know, three wide behind me. Looks like a wonderful adventure for those three. Okay, this is where I gotta be careful or destroy the front of my car. There we go. Hey, Jamar. Whoa. Nope, not gonna make it. Just hoping to get inside a muller there. That didn't work. Oh Jesus, how you doing more? Just fucking it, whipping it down trying to cut me off. Nice try, fucker. These cars are too heavy for that shit. Like, for that to succeed. Ha ha.
and into P1. Just like that. Just like that. So now we get to cruise through the Valley of Maple. Or not. Already four seconds up, geez. Very good. I still have five more laps. Woo! I'm going to be winning this race by a lot. Probably close to 20 seconds, to be honest. Same spot. Nice. Don't don't fuck with me trying to get consistent now. Yeah, mark too strong. This thing's too strong. I need to nerf it. Oh shit. Now what's my lead? Eight seconds, so... About four seconds a lap faster than everybody. Very good. People say the GT AI is slow. I mean, it is, but this game is not exempt from that either. That's for damn sure. Oh god. Big ass slide. Three to go and Satan Lap, how you doing? Well, time to uh, not improve upon that lap time. I must document the Satan Lap.
and silence befalls the crowd again. Or at least the commentary. Pretty much everything. I ain't one gonna watch Toy Story 4. I'm not going to watch Toy Story 4. Mostly because I don't give a shit. I don't think I've seen any of the Toy Story movies, like, all the way. Definitely haven't seen 2 and 3. I think I've seen only, like, bits and pieces of the first one. But never the full movie. So... Nah. That's all I got on that subject. It was pretty much a very long-winded way of saying meh. Yes, indeed. Time for Barry and Bird. Have fun with that soccer. You know, I'm on the final lap here. With a 20 second lead. I told you I was going to win by at least 20 seconds. I was not wrong. I am in the grass. Holy shit. Conquer's Bad Fur Day was rated M. Gee, I wonder if it's the frickin' foul language and potty humor. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder. Seriously, that's a vulgar as fuck game. It's great. I still want to play Bad Fur Day. No, that is not a protest against you, Xbox. Fuck off with your controller. Still like how one of the bosses, or like one, was it a boss? One of the bosses was literally a pile of shit. I was like a split second away from crossing the line. Yeah, boobs, fucking sunflowers, giant titties. Because why not? Any, oh, hey, Muller passed Rossi at some point. Interesting. And I won by 22 seconds. Interesting? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Johansson has a Satan race time. Nice. So I get the Satan lap time, Johansson gets the Satan race time. Alright, now to the most extreme round of the series. To, uh, to Kamina. Alright, time for the Camino Extreme Circuit. Folder around number five. Guess my controller continues to have fits. Four laps around here. Alrighty. Careful, this is a very, very narrow start. So much braking. 
so much braking. Excuse me. And now's the part where I start trying to pass people. Oh, oh, hey, how you doing, Johansson? What is up? Oh, can I get spears through the chicane? Give him a slight tap, which is just like, hey, I'm here. Get fucked, nerd. on Weber. Got me inside of uh, Evans. There we go. Got a nice run off that turn. 2P4. Now for the main asshole, at least to me, Esposito. Oh, as Miller goes for a move on Rossi and almost succeeds. Three wide, I'm not doing that, fuck that, I'm bailing out. I'm bailing the hell out of that. Excuse me, Esposito, I was there. Fucker. Okay, I'll do the podium. Actually, passed more people this lap than I expected. I got a few more clean passes than expected. through the section. It's too narrow to do anything. Fuck those cones. Don't need them. And now we make the uphill, steep uphill climb to Ladera. If I stream Sonic Heroes 2 player mode, why would I do that ever? That is a very, very random thing to mention. Very, very random. So yes, I am aware that in order to play a two-player mode, I need a second player. It's kind of basic knowledge here. Like, I know I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid in most cases. How you doing, Rossi? Just park my car in the apex. You fuck nerd. Switchback time, motherfucker. Pretty sure this is only like the only, well, I was gonna say this is the only transition section on this track that is like twisty, but I guess the transition from Ladera to Camino is a little bit twisty. So, shut up me. Holy shit, that was almost a wall. That was very, very close.
Now, now that Song of Heroes is mentioned, I, I got the music stuck in my head. Just some random music from the game. Because it has a great fucking soundtrack. Like a really, really good soundtrack. In fact, I'd submitted one of the songs as my vote for one of the uh, the next Family Jewels uh, cover medley. It's not going to get in, because, you know... There's no way in hell Egg Emperor is going to get fucking put in the actual medley, but... I cast my vote, so meh. I mean, we all know number one's going to be Megalovania. Because, oh, Megalovania is the greatest song to ever exist. Anyways. Da -da -da -da. I mean, it's an amazing song, but... Uh, I love it, but at this point, it's overrated. I just went on a random fucking tangent right there. I don't know what the hell I was saying. And I fucked up. Very good. I fucked up. I actually don't have that big of a lead here. I just realized that I don't have that big of a lead. Also, I just realized Esposito is in second. Also, fuck those cones. Death to all cones. Fear me. And I am fucking up this part of the lap. Oh god, I need to go wider on that exit. That bump is fucking awful. I was waiting for, like, at one point, that bump to just send my car into a front flip. I just have a feeling that'd be a thing that that thing does. Final lap of extreme. Okay, see you, Ludo. Have a good day at walk. Yeah, Song of Generations is great, Scotian, but they, they definitely had to cut some of the like, story out. Probably for deadline reasons. It just feels kind of empty. It's like, you know, classic tales just kind of shows up. I don't know, they could have done a lot more storytelling and stuff. I still love the game, but it definitely felt rushed. Like when it came to the story and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's about it. Which level does Silver appear as a boss in the modern section? God, yeah. I still wish they could have got Julia White. Whoops, I fucked up that shift. 
Still wish they could have got Julia White to voice classic Sonic in that game, but nope. They did not. Instead, they made him a mute. And before they get Julia White for the next for a uh, project Sonic 2017. Since it's gonna have classic and modern again. Just which level zone of the game? It, it's it's like in generations the boss fights are separate from like actual levels. It's just he's in the hub in the modern section around Crisis City. You know. It was hey, I won. Esposito takes second. Jesus Christ. State of this race, man. Spears fifth. Evans all the way down to seventh. Good God. Alright, well, that just leaves one race remaining, so uh, to Lasarth we go. Alright, here we go. Time to close out the Murchilago series at Circuit de la Sarth, but we're not doing the Bugatti circuit, we're doing the full, full uh, endurance course. It's just we're just kind of skipping out on the chicanes down Molson Strait. Oh my god, this is tight. Tight ass grid. And lost contact. None of it from me. Yet, there we go. I was wondering when I was gonna be involved in this accordion of big. Yep, got damage around all four sides, good. Oh shit, how you doing? What is up? Who was that? That was Esposito. Johansson has engine damage. Mephilus was kinda there too. I mean, the only reason Mephilus was a hedgehog's because he like took the physical shape of Shadow. I actually liked Mephilus as a villain. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was a good villain. And he succeeded where uh, no other Sonic villain has. And, you know, he killed Sonic. So it's time to go fast. High spears. Give me that slipstream boy. I'm kind of screwed here with this damage. But Johansson's more screwed than me because he has actual, like, b uh, engine damage. I just have body damage. Although, quite a bit. Why are you breaking over that crest? What are you doing, man? Oh, barely making it in. Alright. Actually, went very well. Kill Sonic till the scene happened. We don't talk about that. We do not talk about that. Ugh. Let's just let's just forget about that. Remember, the entire game was retconned. It didn't actually happen. So, yeah. For all intents and purposes, that didn't actually happen. Oh, hello, Muller. What are you doing? You're struggling to shift your car. That's what you're doing. Give me third. Unexpectedly easy. Now for the Porsche curves. 
Probably interesting in these big motherfuckers. Especially with my damage. here. I had a feeling I was going to break a lot later than them just because I don't know the breaking point. You know what I mean? Just going door to door with somebody through the Fort Chicane. That's totally a thing that you can do. I mean, I just dude it, so. <laughs> okay. One lap down, one lap to go. It's a uh, Get around Rossi here. Preferably, preferably before the straight. Oh, Rossi going wide. Going very wide into the gravel. Handing me the position. Weber also went off into the gravel. Very good. He'll super form his ass in Sonic 3 Knuckles. I don't know. I think it's good because Flicky Army of Death. Just literally have to stand there. That, that's all you do. How to fight bosses as Super Tails. Put down controller. Go make a cup of tea. Come back. You win. Cause the fucking flickies are great. Kind of wish Super Tails would like be able to come back. I wish the Super Emeralds would come back in a game. That'd be cool. You know, have hypersonic Super Tails. Super and Hyper Knuckles. Remember when Knuckles had a super form? Then he realized he don't chuckle, so... Yeah, I don't fucking know. Don't mind me watching this uh, goings-on behind me. To the best of my efforts, or abilities. Looks like I've got almost three wide going on behind me. Holding steady at 200. Imagine if Nazo was can't. Oh, yeah, that thing. That's actually one of my favorite. Oh, shit. Uh, too late on the brakes this time. Okay, we made it. Stayed out of the gravel. Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite Sonic fan videos, is the whole Nazo Unleashed thing. It was cute, even though it was very DBZ. Then again, every Sonic fan, like, made thing is DBZ. With Sonic characters. to our Naj with too much fucking speed, okay. That went well, except not. Got a Rossi on my butt. Where when everyone went... It Hi, cat. When everyone... Were, ugh, remem remember... Everything is happening right now. Anyways, remember... When everyone lost their shit? Because of that, like, tease of, like, ooh, a Dark Sonic, maybe, in, a uh, Sonic X? No, Rossi, not passing me. I know I completely botched the shit out of that last few turns, but eh. Just make it around this last chicane. Shut the fuck up, cat. Okay, there we go. That was a very, 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 very bad way to finish this, but when... Now, 
Results. I almost lost this race. Hooray. Like 12 times. And then there's Johansson. Poor Johansson with his engine damage. Just way behind everyone else. Whoopsie. But there we go. Murchilago trophy complete. So let's get our uh, prize money. Hooray. And yeah. That's another one make race down. So next time on Forza 3, we'll move on to the next one, which involves the Porsches. Back to a good handling car, so stay tuned for that.